Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Traveling with Jose. I'm Jose, and for today's video, I want to give you a Japanese lesson. So you guys know, with my time overseas, I did get to learn a little Japanese. Now, I want to teach you uh, because these are words that I learned uh, pretty much like as I immersed myself in Japan and uh, things that I think you should know if you're going to be stationed in Japan. And I just kind of want to be able to teach something that I learned with my experience. So hopefully you can use this when you get over there. So the first word is going to be, and you're going to hear this every day, I swear you're going to hear this so much over there, is sugoi. 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 So it means cool. Look at that. Sugoi. 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 Anything can be sugoi. Now this word, you won't ever have to say it, but you will hear it a lot. And this is uh, when you walk into a store, uh, they'll say, Irashimase. 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 I know that sounds funny. Irashimase. So usually, and usually when you do hear it, you'll hear it uh, when you're walking into a restaurant or walking into a store, pretty much anywhere actually. So you'll, you'll hear this pretty much anywhere when you're walking into an establishment. And usually it'll be upbeat and it'll be welcoming. So it'll be like, it'll be like this. Irashimase. 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 So, like that. Irashimase. You won't ever have to say it, but you will hear it a lot. You don't actually have to reply to this word. It's just um, them letting you know that you're inside and that um, you're atten and that they have your attention if you need it. You know what I'm saying? So they're they're recognizing your presence. I know for sure. I've walked into. Uh, an establishment here in America where like I walk in and nobody says anything to me, nobody greets me, and I'm like, all right, I guess you don't want my business. So that's why they always do that in Japan. This is a word that's pretty synonymous with Japan in general. It's kawaii. Kawaii. It means cute. And you're gonna hear this every single day you're out in the streets of Japan, especially if you're in Harajuku. You'll hear. Kawaii, 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 stay kawaii, all right? You are a foreigner in Japan. Gai jin, gai jin. So if you ever hear that, it's either that they're talking about you or they're talking about other foreigners. So just remember that word, gai jin. My friends have said this to my face, you know, and you know, they're Japanese, so they kind of like, in a, in a playful way, they called me foreigner. So they said, ah, gai jin. Or uh, we'll be making fun of other foreigners and we'll say Baka Gaijin. So we'll say stupid foreigner. So there's two words right there. Baka, which also means um, foolish, stupid, idiot, depending on how you use it, you know, just, in Eng just like in English. So Baka Gaijin, stupid foreigner. Let's say you do know how to order food, right? So uh, at the end you're like, okay, that's all, right? How do you say that's all while you're ordering food? So like you can be like, hi, kono uh, seto So like I'll take this set, and then you'll be like, okay, that's it. You don't want them to ask for anything, ask any other questions. You say, ijo des, ijo des. Kore onegaishimasu, ijo des. Kore onegaishimasu means this, please. And ijo des, ijo des means that's it, ijo des. This word pretty much means cool, but only for guys, and it's kakoi. Ka koi to another guy, you say, ah, oh, ka koi. Like that person is really cool, that guy. You don't use this for a girl, so ka koi. Like he is so ka koi. So cool, so chill, so relaxed, pretty much. Ka koi is like, at least when I imagine it, it's like a, more of a, a tougher guy with like a nice style in Japan. Ikimashou ka means should we go or let's go? Question mark. Right? Ikimashou ka? Ikimashou ka? Let's go. But if you say Ikimashou, it's like, let's go. Right now, it's an order. Ikimashou. We'd be at like an arcade and then we got hungry. I was like, hi, Ikimashou. Let's go. Right now, let's go eat. Let's let's do whatever. So, Ikimashou. On to the next phrase. Hey, let's say you guys are talking about something and then you just don't think it's like a really big deal or you just don't want to talk about it. And you say, uh, de mo nai. So it's like, it's not a problem. Nan de mo nai. Nande mo nai. Nande mo nai. 
that's another useful one. Like maybe you don't know what to say. You say, Nandemonai. It's, it's not a big deal. Remember how I told you gaijin means foreigner? So depending on where you're from, but I mean, because a lot of people that are watching are American, if you go to Japan, and you want to say that you are a uh, United States citizen, you're American, you would say America Jean. America Jean. It's not it wouldn't be like America Jean, but America Jean. Just to sound a little bit more fluent. America Jean. So that means you're someone from the United States. Let's say you're from Korea, right? So you'd say Kankok Jean. Kankok Jean. If you're from um Germany, you would say Deutsche Jean. Deutsche Jean. A lot of people ask me where am I from, and of course I would say uh, I'm from America, so America Jean. But then I'd be like, oh, my parents are Salvadorian. I would have to say El Salvador Jean. So, like, my parents are Salvadorian. El Salvador Jean. And that's uh, probably something you never, never knew, because, like, it, it's happened to me where I've said El Salvador, and they're like, huh? Eh, doko? Where? And then I'd say, El Salvador. And then they would understand, like, ah, El Salvador. Duh. So, yeah, that was just something that uh, happened to me actually a couple times in Japan. So, yeah. Uh, I miss my times over there. Let's say you're at a store, right? And something is a little expensive. You'd say, Takai. 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 That means it's expensive. Ho e takai. Too expensive, right? Like, or I just say, ah, takai, takai, takai. Like, I don't want it. Mm, takai. But if something is cheap, you say, yasui. Wo, yasui. Usually, that's not the case in Japan. So, you want to add a little bit more emphasis, of course, when something is cheaper because you're excited. Ah, yasui. Yasui. Like, let's buy more. Uh, for this phrase, I had to learn it because. Uh, it would come up where people would be like, what's your job? And actually, I'll tell you that word too. So that phrase too. So uh, what's your job or where do you work is shigoto wa nan desu ka? Shigoto wa nan desu ka? So uh, what is your work? Where is your work? What do you do? Pretty much. Uh, shigoto wa nan desu ka? And then for me, because I was in the Navy before, I would say America kaigun desu. So all of y'all that are trying to get out to uh, Japan, this is your phrase. America kaigun desu. Which means, I'm in the United States Navy. And then that's when, uh, I guess they, pretty much every single time would be like, Whoa, eh, sugoi. Which means cool, if you remember that from the first word we learned. Eh, sugoi. America kaigun desu. And then I'd just be, just be like, hi, America kaigun desu. They'd be like, whoa. Kakoi, and then that's the fall. That's the next um, word that they would use, which means cool. Because I'm a guy, they'd say, "Oh, that's cool that you're doing that." Uh, so let's talk about weather. So if it's cold outside, you say, "Samu, samu, honto ni samu, ah samu." You'll hear that word so much during uh, the winter in Japan. Like let's, and you know, since everybody walks everywhere. You know, you're out in the cold. Ah, samui, samui. You'll hear, you know, older people say it, younger people. Everybody says samui during the winter season. If it's hot outside like it is right now, I think right now um, Virginia is experiencing um, a heat wave. So I think it was like 100 degrees plus uh, outside today. But I didn't go outside because I, all I did was make videos all day today. But you'd say atsui. Atsui. You like put emphasis on the atsui. Atsui. Honto ni atsui. Yabai atsui. Like so freaking hot. If you like this lesson so far, guys, uh, leave a thumbs up or leave a comment. Or if you want another Japanese lesson, I'm down. I'm not fluent, but I've learned enough to uh, be able to say some things, I think, on YouTube. These words I learned pretty quick because. Uh, I would hang out with my Japanese friends and we would always want to go of course to drink and to eat All you can eat is called Tabe hodai Tabe hodai. It's not like America or some other places where it's uh, the food is laid out and you get what you want uh, It just means Tabe hodai is you can eat unlimited for two hours But you have to keep ordering what you want so for those it's like an hour, those two hours, depending on what you pay for. 
or um, also with drinking, nomi hodai. Nomi hodai. Uh, you can drink as much as you want within the span of an hour or two, whatever you want to pay for. That's a good way to get your money's worth uh, while you're in Japan. And uh, your friends ask you, hey, you want to go, you want to do tabe hodai, nomi hodai? Now you know. Let's say that tab comes to that table and you're just like, uh, I'm not paying for everybody. I just want to pay for myself. All you gotta say when you get your receipt is, uh, and take it to the counter, betsu betsu on the gaishimasu. So it means like, please, uh, separate bill. So then you just kind of uh, either point to what you got. If you don't know that much Japanese, but you can say betsu betsu de to get the point across that you guys want to split the bill instead of just saying like, you know, standing there looking kind of dumb, you say, ha, betsu betsu de. You can still kind of look dumb, but say betsu betsu de. That'll make you look a little bit better. Nansai desu ka? Nansai desu ka? Nansai desu ka means how old are you? What's your age? I'm 25, guys, if you didn't know. So I'd say niju go sai desu. So I'm 25 years old, but it's niju go sai desu. So niju is 20, go is 5, sai is um, age. So I'm 25. Des is, um, how do I say that? Des is just kind of a formal way to say I am 25 years old. Usually when you're in Japan, that's how you speak with des at the end of uh, certain statements. So this is the end of the video and I hope you guys stuck around for this little Japanese lesson. If you guys would like another one, let me know in the comments. Um, and if not, you know what? I'm just still gonna make them because I like teaching Japanese. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, take care. Bye.